SVG's teammate at College Racing, AJ Allmendinger, uh, an eventful day for him in the number 16 car. Originally, the circle wrapped paint scheme became the Celsius wrapped paint scheme. They had to bring the car, but he was intending to race Sonoma out after he crashed in qualifying, had to go to a backup car, and that set him back from the very beginning. Here's what AJ had to say about his fourth place effort. AJ Allmendinger, I know a little bit of a disappointing day considering what it started, but overall, where you thought your race efforts, because you still had the crowd cheering for you every time you bought that festival corner, Sheldon Chicane. Yeah, I mean, it was, um, my effort was poor, uh, but I'm really proud of and thankful, more than anything, proud and, but but especially thankful and appreciative of uh, of all the men and women at College Racing for just keep pushing and having to get a backup car ready in, in two and a half hours. Shane's world class, so it's really good that, you know, the team, the organization as a whole got a win. Um, I won't comment on, on, on my effort it's um, or my ability, but just thankful for for the people I got around me. Now, of course, you got a great team around you. One of the big things, you got Shane Van Gisbergen. Is this the kind of win where for the team this is just, okay, we got that first win, now let's go try to get around another win so no one did. Does it come a little easier with that momentum? Uh, you'd have to go talk to him. He's in victory lane. For me, it's not. It, it, it doesn't make it. It doesn't make Sonoma all of a sudden better. Um, but Shane's world class. I think he'll. Um, he's doing a great job on the ovals, learning, and, and uh, we know his ability on the road course. So um, more than anything, it's just it's been a tough year for the organization. So it's just good that they got a win. AJ, thank you so much for your time. Best of luck to you at Sonoma, and we'll see you there. Thank you. All right, obviously, AJ, very disappointed knowing that this was a race that he's won before and an opportunity for him to rebound from a maybe not a poor start to the season, but subpar given where we expected Colleague to be, like we were talking about during the SVG segment. So, Brandon, on that note, good opportunity for uh, one of the stars of the road courses coming up again this weekend at Sonoma. Can AJ Allmaning a rebound and take a win uh, later this weekend? He certainly has a chip on his shoulder, knowing that you know, like you said, this is that is a place that he was able to to win at. But uh, you know, it was in the debut race for the Xfinity Series there a couple of years ago, and our our debut was in 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 good Portland fashion in, in the pouring rain, and so it put, it put on for a, a sludge fest that AJ somehow was able to navigate his way through. A uh, very much different scenario coming into twenty twenty four. Very dry, uh, kind of like last year. Um, Finishing fourth, though, I mean, you, that's a great finish. Come on. For the Xfinity Series, for Colleague Racing, that's a great finish. But A.J. Allmendinger is not that kind of guy that's okay with fourth. He he knows he can win there. He wants to win. And so, I mean, you, you can't you can't bother a racer whenever he's upset about a fourth-place finish because he knows what he's capable of. And, again, he didn't want to comment on his own performance. He wanted to, to harp on Colleague Racing and all the men and women there that uh, prepare those cars for him. I'm concerned about with Sonoma is just they had to bring in. He, he's he's obviously upset that they had to bring the Sonoma car um, into Portland, and uh, so my concern for Sonoma is well, that means that they're scrambling to get that new. I assume they're scrambling to get that new car prepared for for wine country. So um, may not be exactly what he was anticipating coming into into California with, but um, he's, I mean, he's certainly, he's, he's just like Justin Allgaier in SVG. He's got, and Cole Custer too. He's got every chance, also Kligerman, every chance to have a good finish at Sonoma. I mean, there's so many good road ringers in the Xfinity series there. I mean, you have to be in these, in these top three series. Now we talk about that a lot. Well, maybe the top two series, you have to be a good at road courses. And AJ Allmendinger is very good at road courses. Um, I don't. I don't think it matters what kind of car he's in. He's going to do a good job uh, if you don't run him off the road. That is. Yeah, defending winner uh, Cole Custer ended up with a strong finish as well, coming in home in sixth. And uh, Parker Clickerman, like you mentioned as well, in, in eighth place. And looking ahead to Sonoma, uh, the defending winner Eric Almarola not entered in the race. Ty Gibbs and John Henry Nemechek will be in the nineteen and twenty uh, for Gibbs respectively. So uh, those are your two uh, Cup invaders or bushwhackers, if you want to. Uh, call them that. I know that they don't have as much experience as Eric Almarola and Kyle Larson, who were in the race last year. But I think, again, that just uh, gives AJ another opportunity, uh, you know, with, you know, Boris said in the 17 this weekend, I'm hoping that he has a, a great run. But at this point in Boris's career, great to see him get the opportunity 
it's not like Kyle Larson is stepping behind the wheel. That's 17 either. So that's, uh, you know, one less uh, obstacle in his way uh, to potentially get a strong finish, maybe even a win. Uh, but then again, you've, you've got the added obstacle, like you mentioned, Brandon, about, you know, where that team is after having to scramble to get that snowmore converted over to run uh, Portland. And I think the situation was, uh, I, I saw a tweet, I didn't get to listen to the podcast this week, but uh, apparently Chris Rice said that Colleague brought six cars out to Portland and Sonoma, one for each of their drivers for each of the tracks with the intention on using three for Portland and three for Sonoma. So that's why the 16 didn't have the same, uh, the backup car didn't have the same uh, sponsorship or wrap that the primary did for AJ because that was supposed to be a Sonoma car. So we'll see what they end up uh, deciding to do if they decide to repair the, the Portland car and maybe give that a uh, shot here since it doesn't have as many miles on it after the uh, Portland race like the intended Sonoma car does. Who knows what's going to happen there, but uh, you know, regardless, track that AJ has run well at before, but never quite broken through to actually take the win and celebrate in victory lane. So, uh, you know, I, I'm sure it has to be circled on his calendar more so than even before coming into this weekend, given uh, the disappointment of Portland. But like you mentioned, Brandon, you know, it, it's hard to complain too much when you come home with a fourth place finish after everything that he went through uh, on Saturday. But I do see both sides of it. You know, I, I know that some people were commenting after we posted that interview saying, you know, why is he so hard on himself? That's just AJ Allmendinger's uh, personality. You know, he, he is not satisfied with anything less than a win. Colleague is not satisfied with anything less than a win. Their motto is trophy hunting for crying out loud. And I think it's absolutely understandable that he would be uh, disappointed to be, you know, step behind, uh, step back a little bit before the race even began. Uh, you know, it, it makes it that much more difficult to come through and ultimately achieve your goals. So we'll see, you know, I know he's going to be fired up. Uh, coming into Sonoma here. So, uh, you know, we'll see. He's, he's on the cup entry list as well. So if it's still something he's uh, looking to do, sweep the weekend. He came very close to Coda a couple of years ago before Ross Chastain had other ideas, um, you know. So it's a big weekend for him. We'll see uh, what kind of results he can put up. And uh, let's see. Uh, Nico Krinkelberg. Uh, I wonder if that's a play on Nico Holkenberg. Uh, but good to see <laughs> him. Fourth, uh, first, fourth, and seventh. Is a solid weekend chances backing up at Sonoma. I think very high. Uh, you know, again, all credit to Josh Williams uh, for coming away with a strong finish. And boy, he's needed some of those with how his season in particular has started. But you know, SVG and AJ Allmendinger, um, you know, I, I don't think they've been too satisfied with their results either. So uh, this gives them a, a great opportunity. You know, with road courses back to back to boost their season, boost their momentum. They did a very good job of that at Portland. I think absolutely they have a very strong chance going into another road course right here at Sonoma. Wouldn't be surprised if either of them is standing in victory lane at the end of the day. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, SVG could be running up there. It's just uh, the difference between Portland and Sonoma is just you got to deal with that elevation and how that handles with the Xfinity Series car. And, he, you know, he's he's been going through simulators and stuff. He's, he's, he's going to get it down. 